Let's talk about a, a little bit about food. Okay, as I've told you in 5D, you don't have to eat. No, no one eats because eat has eating has to do with hunting and gathering. This creates fear, and there is no fear in 5D. Now, I've also told you that you can eat in 5D. However, when you eat, you will produce it from the energy, so to speak, around you. So if you want a hamburger, you'll hold out your hand, you'll produce a hamburger, you'll eat the hamburger. That hamburger that you produce out of energy will be perfect in every way. It will match your body. There will be no waste. There will be no uh, fear involved in it at all, okay? It's not a need, okay? In 5D, there is no need. That, that term needing something has to do with attachment has to do with uh, belief systems that are around fear and it doesn't exist in 5D. So in order to get to 5D you have to get rid of all attachments, all fear, all need and that includes food. Okay, so before you can get to 5D you have to get rid of the food. I'm sorry guys, once you get there you could eat all you want because it's done in a different way. But you have to get rid of the food in order to get there. Food and liquid. So eventually, before you get to 5D, you're going to have to be able to exist with breathing or sun gazing. One or the other, it doesn't matter. They're both basically the same thing. You're going to be able to, you're going to have to be able to translate energy to this human form and feed it, give it the energy that it needs without that middleman of food. Okay, you're going to have to do it yourself. That has to be done before you get to 5D. Once you're in 5D, then you can produce and eat all the food that you'd like. You can also, you know, if you wish, you can just experience having food, the taste of it, the aroma, the feel in your mouth, just by thinking about it. You can do that as well in 5D, okay? But before you get there, you have to be able to get rid of the food. Whenever I say there's no attachments before you get to 5D, I mean no attachments. You're not a mother. You're not a father. You're not a best friend, or rather, you're best friend to everyone. And there's no, you don't need to breathe. That's another thing. Now, I won't go so far into say you don't have to breathe. Your heart doesn't have to beat in order to get to 5D because you do it automatically. So there's no innate... Uh, feeling day to day, moment to moment of needing to breathe. Now, if you think about it for a minute, you're going to think that you need to breathe. But for the most part, you don't even think about it. It's an automatic response, as is your heartbeat. But you do think about food. You do have this need to eat. You'll say, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten enough today. I haven't eaten the right foods, whatever. That's a need, and that need will have to go away before you get to 5D. Totally stays where it is. In 4D. In 4D, 4D people, absolutely you do not have to get rid of food. To get to 5D, you do. In order to get to 5D, remember guys, you have to vibrate at the frequency of 5D before you can get into 5D. It doesn't happen the other way around. You can't wish it uh, and say, okay, I want to go to 5D and therefore you're there. No, you have to vibrate appropriately to get into the club. Okay, so you have to do everything that you have to do in order to get there. You have to do it first. You have to be able to be it first before you will be in 5D. And yes, it already exists. It's already there waiting for you. <clears throat> now, I did talk uh, yesterday about what I called aliens, even though they're not aliens. They've been here just as long as the humans have. There are alternate civilizations that are on this planet that you can't see, that are right here. They've been evolving and living their game just right alongside the humans. They don't know that the humans are here. Humans don't know that they are here. Most of them don't know that each other are here. Of all of these entities that are on this planet living different layers of games, depending upon the frequency, and there are infinite frequencies, human the human game is the most extreme. It is the one that has complete amnesia and access to all vibrational range. It is the most extreme of all of the available games on this planet. The planet is going to 5D. All of the other 
beings, all these other civilizations, including the timelines that have hollow earth, they are already there. They're ready to go. They are Many of them are already in 5D on the planet. The only group that is not in 5D that's finishing up this job that Earth in Gaia is waiting for are humans. As I told you before, there is a kind of a time limit on this, even though there's no such thing as time. And that time will be, excuse me, that time will be um, experienced by different people. That's the reason why psychics can't give time like a date is because my idea of how long it uh, five years is and yours are different. I know that's hard for you to imagine, but it is still the truth. The only group left that has beings that do not have access to 5D now are humans. And the reason why the humans are the last is because it is the most extreme of the games that are available on this planet. Okay? And who I'm talking to are beings, long-term humans, uh, starseeds, whoever, who are on their way to the 5D game. For everyone else that's planning on staying in the 4D game, um, although what I have to say might be interesting, it might be helpful for you in the 4D games, I am really talking to people who are going to 5D, as I am. And um, my vibrations have raised really high. I'm going to try to lower them back down because I'm struggling to communicate with anybody right now on this planet. So I've moved too fast. So I'm going to slow back down again. Um, ooh, that's really hard to do, by the way, guys. Really hard to do. <laughs> I don't want to do it. But I'm going to slow it back down. But I wanted y'all to know that all of these other beings, there's also beings like that on the moon, on Mars, on all these planets that humans send a, a probe to and they land and they go, oh, there's no, there's nobody here. Well, yeah, there are. You just can't see them with your human five senses. But as I said, humans are the extreme. They only have five senses, six if you call that sixth sense that nobody can understand that they kind of group everything into. We'll say, we'll give them six. That's all they have. Most everybody else has many more senses than that. Like I said, the human game is the most extreme of all the games. So, what I will do is I will try to give you this information of those who want to go to 5D on things that you have to do, describing 5D, and what you have to do before you get there. Now, the other thing I want to let you know that I've seen a lot of people is after the first, and everything on the grid was activated and it's rocking and rolling, a lot of you have accessed those new energies. And what happens is that range. Remember the range that I talk about? That every human being, you, you vibrationally, you have to stay within a range. And you can only interact with other beings, things, experiences. They're within your range. When you expected these new vibrations, you reached for them. And your range raised. Okay? Now, that doesn't mean that you can't pop outside of your range. You can pop into, and occasionally you might even pop into the low 3D range, but you won't stay there. You'll come back up into your range. It'll be very short. But as your range raises, the lower end of the raise of, of your range goes up as well. Okay? So your high is higher and your low is higher. So what used to... How can I explain this? So when you reach for these higher vibrations that have been activated since the first, then what will, what will happen is you will go back to your normal um, activities of daily living, things in the way that you've acted, the way you've spoke, the way you do things day to day. You'll try to go back, and, every, and a lot of people have tried to do this, and you go back to just living your normal life, and it doesn't feel right. It hurts and you're depressed, and you're sad, and you don't know why, and it's not better, it's worse, and you're going, well, what happened? I thought it was supposed to be this magical new time, and Naya went, she activated the grid, and we all should be happy, happy, joy, joy. Well, you are act, you are accessing those higher vibes, but you're not staying there for any length of time. You're not staying there long enough to feel the, the, the really difference in how much better those higher vibes are than your old higher vibes were. You're not staying there yet long enough to feel that. You you are accessing them, but you're not staying there long enough to get the advantages of them. 
And this happens as you raise, it happens to everybody. Now, as you raise even further and you stay at those vibrations higher, looking back at this, you will go, oh my gosh, that was such a difference. But now in the moment of the transition, it's really hard to see it. It's really hard to feel it. What you do feel is you feel worse. Physically, you're feeling worse, more depressed, more sad. It's because your low that you now have is higher than it was. Your um, sadness is now on a higher plane. So where you used to get sad before on, let's say, these, this event or that event, you don't even go to those anymore. Now you're your sadness is based on something that used to, before the first, used to be you handled with, eh, no big deal. Now, because you've raised your, your scale, now you're not handling your lows. Now they, they hurt more than they did before because your high is higher. And the way that you get around this, and believe me, I've done it so many times now over the last almost 10 years <clears throat> that I'm used to it. Completely forgot about it. Should have told you guys about it. So what you do and, and what happens is you begin to focus on the fact that you feel worse. Well, I used to be able to deal with this moment, these kind of activities with ease, and now I'm not. Now I'm feeling very depressed. Well, the reason why you're feeling depressed is that's you saying you need to go to the higher realm. You need to go to the higher vibrations. All of your lower vibrations will always be more uncomfortable than the higher ones. It's your way of pushing yourself higher. Now, in this moment in time, as in all movement upward, you have a choice moment to moment, day to day. Are you going to focus on the fact that you're feeling worse or are you going to focus on reaching for those higher vibes and feeling happier? Which is the reason why I say over and over and over again, Naya's saying is happier and happier, moment to moment no matter what, no matter what. You must continue to reach for those happier moments over and over and over and not let anything get in your way ever. When you do drop down and you do feel those sadness and you do realize and recognize that they are uh, less low than they were before the first, now you understand why. It is simply your way of moving up. Now, what happens with humans is because they are very, very, very uh, into repeating themselves. Habits. Very habitual creatures humans are. And you've got to stop being habitual because habituality will keep you in the fourth dimension and it can take you back to the third dimension. It is only by breaking your habits that you will get to 5D. It's the only way out, guys. Only way out. You must continue to reach for that happier and happier. When you do it enough, you will recognize that your happier moments are happier, much happier than they were before the first. So instead of focusing on the fact that your lowers are worse than they were before the first, focus on the your higher vibrations be happier and happier and happier it's the only way out otherwise this whole system that i'm taking you through will be miserable every step of the way as long as you are looking behind you instead of in the now as long as you're looking behind you or you're expecting something in the future you will be miserable it's that simple if you stay in the now, focus on being happier and happier, you will be happier and happier. What is in the lower levels of your scale will become irrelevant if you refuse to go there. If you refuse to go there, it's irrelevant. If all you're doing is allowing yourself to stay in your upper levels of your range, then where the lower levels of your range is, is irrelevant. And if you do drop to them, you shredge them away. You say, yeah, I know this already. No big deal. Turn around and be happier and happier. And that's the way it's done. Remember, if you don't stay in the now, if you don't look for happier and happier, this process will be a nightmare. <clears throat> but you've got a choice. You've got the nightmare that you've been in all your life, or you've, get, you've got the nightmare of this process, or you've got directions on insisting on allowing yourself only to stay happier and happier. Remember, being happy is a choice. 
No one does it to you but you. Your choice at all times, whether or not you're happier in the moment, or if you choose to look into the past and be sad, or in the future and not have the future reach your expectations. All right? Well, there you go, guys. Love you so much. I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs. Bye now.